Hello guys and welcome to another modeling video from the Flying Dutchman. Today I'm going to do a, a box review. Um, this is a, a 135 scale Tamiya kit. Uh, it's kit number 35344. It's the Somua S35. It's a, a French cavalry tank of the Second World War. Uh, it's a brand new kit. It, uh, it has uh, 119 parts in tank colored plastic uh, and it's uh, got another 200 plus individual track links in grey uh, plastic. Uh, five parts in clear. There is a piece of chain in it and uh, of course the plastic caps. Yes, uh, Tamiya always works with those plastic caps caps. So we are going to open this uh, kit now. So let's see what's in it. Let's start with the de decals. The decals are uh, nice and crisp. As you can see over here is uh, I believe it got, uh, three uh, different uh, the versions I believe. I'm not sure about that. But there's not uh, more to say about uh, deagles than uh, these are printed uh, really nice. So we are going over to the sprues. Sprue number one. Let's open it carefully. Well. Sprue number one. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit closer to show you uh, some stuff. Uh, I must say the surface uh, detail is uh, is excellent. Uh, the cast uh, texture is uh, very well done. It's uh, subtle but um, still notice, noticeable uh, from most angles. I do not know if the camera will pick it up very nice, but maybe if I zoom in a little bit further you can see the surface what I'm talking about. But I don't think the camera picks it up very well. Oh. Um, I must say the um, the, the parts are uh, molded uh, very nicely. There's uh, no flesh at all uh, by the looks of it. And on the other side, uh, the pin marks are uh, only in uh, in the inside of the parts, so they will not be visible at all. Um, here's the here's the commander. It's a, yeah, uh, it's a, a typical uh, Tamiya figure. But it's, it's a very nice start of this kit. So let's see what's inside bag number two. I'm trying to do uh, four things at the same time now, so <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm uh, a bit silent uh, from time to time. Uh, here we have the hull, and I think this time you will see the surface uh, in detail a whole lot better. So if you as you can see, it's very nice molded. Anyway, this is uh, the bottom of uh, the hole. Um, yeah, I hate this. If you look here, you can see uh, the grills. And the grills are uh, molded uh, cl uh, closed. Uh, 
so that's uh, that's a shame. I wish they were open for uh, just a little bit more realism. Uh, I haven't looked up uh, if there is an, uh, a photo edge set uh, available uh, for this kit. Maybe, uh, maybe uh, it will. But I don't think this kit needs uh, an upgrade. Uh, an upgrade set from uh, photo edge and again there is uh, no flesh at all visible on uh, on these parts um, and the pin marks as you can see here uh, they are all at the inside of the parts so they will not be visible at all so it's it's a really nice kit so far now what's in this little bag? The polycaps, the almost famous polycap from Tamiya and there is a piece of chain. So that's a nice plus. I've never seen uh, Tamiya uh, include uh, a piece of chain before so let's go over to the next bag okay um, I think this is the running gear yes uh, the running gear is uh, with uh, four bogies um, and four wheels. Each could have uh, been very complicated, like you have, would have in a uh, dragon kit uh, and uh, and stuff. Uh, but Tamiya has tackled the breakdown of this era, uh, yeah, in their typical style. Uh, straightforward parts, breakdown, uh, but with a high level of detail. Uh, this is very nice part to see uh, what you would have um, before if you have this part uh, you could see a, a seam line uh, running uh, running against uh, the whole part uh, not anymore so that's uh, that's uh, a real saver in uh, cleaning up uh, that seam line so it's a high level of detail uh, indeed for me at this time. I must say it's about time. Of <laughs> well, here we have uh, all the all the wheel the wheels. The small parts. Uh, sprue number two is uh, exactly the same one as uh, sprue number one. You have uh, some uh, some towing uh, hooks over here. That would be for the chain. And that let us come to the last sprue. So it's not a very big kit, but it's not a very big tank either. Uh, let me see what is this. These are uh, the the wheel covers that's come uh, come uh, to the side of uh, of the tank. Uh, the exhausts. Some other nice parts. Again, uh, no flash uh, at all. Some pin marks, but they uh, are all at the inside. So that's about it. That. Uh, these are the clear parts. I'm just going to zoom in of the clear parts because I'm uh, not taking them out of this bag to prevent uh, scratches 
but you can see it's uh, just uh, some uh, lenses uh, and uh, I think uh, a periscope. So we'll leave it in the back. And must bring another bag over here. Yeah. Now these are uh, very uh, new to me. While uh, for Tamiya it is uh, new. These are the individual uh, track links and uh, they are uh, ready to use, they say. So no cleaning up uh, would be necessary, you just click uh, them together. Now, I couldn't wait, of course not. So what I did was already built a piece of the track, if I can find it, I right over here. So it uh, kind of looks like uh, the the magic tracks uh, you uh, you will find uh, with the, the dragon kits. So if, you, if you can see here, it's uh, it's movable. Um, the only thing is uh, when you turn it around. I don't think the camera picks it up uh, very well, but I do see here some pin marks, but I. I'm not sure if uh, they will be very visible uh, once uh, the, the running gear is uh, over it. But I have to say uh, it's uh, very easy to, uh, to click uh, the links together. So that's uh, a very nice plus. Um, but it does not uh, beat the freewheel tracks. But the metal tracks uh, from uh, Freeu are uh, very expensive and this is uh, I think a lot cheaper so I hope uh, at least for Tamiya uh, that they will uh, include uh, these uh, track links more in their kits as a matter of fact this kit does not have any vinyl tracks at all so you will have to do with these individual track links. Uh, what's more to say with this um, yeah, the upper and the lower hulls uh, they are both single castings as you, uh, as you can see uh, as you can see here they are just single castings and um, that would make uh, basic assembly a fast painless progress for uh, it's uh, just uh, an upper part and a lower part you, you uh, glue it together um, and that's it the hull hatches are supplied and as uh, separate uh, parts but there is no interior uh, detail whatsoever so uh, if you are going to build this uh, kit you you would better be off with uh, building it uh, with all hatches uh, closed except for uh, one hatch where the commander would be but he is uh, blocking the view in, uh, for inside the in, in, uh, interior uh, I do like the detail on the inside of the driver's vision Clear parts are supplied for the headlights, lens and tail lights. That's uh, what I've already said before. Um, if i uh, going back to the markings. For I have here in front of me the, the, the manual. The, uh, uh, the markings are for three different machines. So it's not uh, two or something, it's uh, three. So that's it for now, uh, guys. Um, I did my best uh, to show you uh, the inside of uh, this box. Um, I hope uh, that you uh, could see 
how, how great uh, this uh, kit is. I know it's a Tamiya kit, uh, it's not a dragon, so uh, you cannot compare it to, uh, to a dragon uh, or something. Um, but it's a really, really nice kit for what I have seen. Uh, and I think everyone can, uh, can build uh, this, uh, this kit. So uh, for me it's highly recommended and if you uh, want uh, to build a nice kit, uh, a clean, easy kit, you should uh, go for this one. But that's my opinion. So uh, thanks for watching uh, guys and uh, hope to see you uh, another time. Thank you very much. Stay safe.